Hello people that don't want to die. So, air quality is a big issue, at least where I am. In Southeast Asia, this entire place is a cesspool. There's generally air pollution every day, and it's moderate to bad every day. Because the governments just don't care. They're like, hey, you don't need to grow rice, grow sugar cane, and burn it every season. So it creates a lot of particulate matter and a lot of air pollution. All the construction buildings and traffic and all that stuff, it all adds up. If you live in North America or Europe, you are going to live decades longer than I will. But if you are stuck here in Asia, or God forbid India, the air quality there is really bad. Or China, of course, the factory of the world. You want to get an air detector. I bought both of these off AliExpress. You may have seen this in my Xiaomi air purifier review. It's pretty good. The only problem with both of these, or all the ones I see online, is they're powered by batteries. This is an 18650 battery, and it, eventually the battery dies. So you have to constantly leave it plugged in, in this case, with a micro C. Uh, cable type but uh, this thing's pretty bulky as you can see here uh, so I want to get a small one that I'm gonna leave on my computer and I'll just leave it plugged into my computer all the time and then when the air quality goes bad I'll know to turn on my air purifier instead of leaving it running all the time wasting electricity the Xiaomi does work great by the way all right so let's see here just I got this off AliExpress, it just says air detector, it came in a padded envelope, and this is a 6-in-1 version, so 6 sensors, and PM10, black color, okay. Some instructions, very nice. Let's see if we can figure it out without them, Chinese and English. So it's just half a page, really, so that's it for the instructions. You might need some glasses though to actually read it. Pretty small font. I'd say it's like a font six. Oh, what do you know? This thing has power. It just beeped. So it came in a storage voltage. And then this one is power a little more updated. So it has the type C, the standard of uh, cable connectors these days. So that is great. And even if I don't want to use this, it'll be handy to back up to charge my phone. Alright, so a nice little padded thing here. It's got the protective film. Well, <coughs> my first impression is it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I was hoping it would be half this size. So, well, I'll still it's still smaller than this, of course, but it is still powered by a battery, which will eventually die. So that's unfortunate. I don't think it's an 18650 battery, because that would be, it would require a bigger case. So I'm not sure. It does say 1200 milliamp hours, so maybe it is an 18650, but I don't see it in there. Now, you know what it is? I think it's a flat lipo pack. I can kind of see a rectangular shape in there. So it's not a round cell. Not that it matters so much. This one is just labeled as a carbon dioxide detector. Model M8, 5 volts obviously, being a Type-C connector. And a range of 400 to 5000 par parts per million. This one actually is approved by CE and Rose and the FCC, supposedly. Do we really know for sure? I don't know. You can mount this on the wall on some uh, screws or nails. And then you don't want to cover this. This is actually the sensor sucking in the air, I believe. It's probably sucking it in here or here and sending it out the other side. So it is vented on both sides, but not the bottom. Hmm, that is interesting. I mean, if you put this against a wall, isn't... I think I can feel some air, so it's, it doesn't seem smart to have this vent here. I think it would have been smarter if it was on top or maybe the, well, not the bottom. Well, anyways, just something to think about. Alright, both are warmed up here. I will say, these are not the same sensors for sure. I don't, I looked inside this thing and I don't really even know if there's a fan in there. It's hard to say. I mean, Maybe you can see, but there's a bunch of wiring right there. And I think the sensor is somewhere around here. There is a black box. I, I don't know if that's a fan sucking the air through this back here or not. Uh, but it just it's not the same sensor as uh, what's going on on this one. Because this one, you, you can see, uh, this is giant blue piece of metal. And I see this blue piece of metal and other sensors that come in different bodies like this. But... If you look at the actual numbers, the HCHO or formaldehyde, this is very low and this is very high. The total volatile organic compounds, TVOCs, 
very low, but here it's totally zero. But then the thing that's really off is the parts per million, uh, the PM is 2836, but over here it's just totally zero. Alright, that's a big discrepancy, I think. Uh, and then CO2, well, uh, it's nice that that sensor is there. So, I got a little test here. This one clearly has this fan, so I think it's much more accurate as far as the reaction time goes. This one might just be waiting for convection currents to do it. Again, it's hard to say without tearing it apart, but uh, I don't see a way to take it apart without pulling this screen off, and I don't want to break the thing. I just got it. Uh, before I forget, you can just turn this on and off by holding this button for like three seconds. There, that's it. If it had a temperature sensor, you could press that button and it'll change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit, but this one doesn't have the temperature sensor. So yeah, this is a charge port. There's really nothing else to it. So <coughs> I'm going to just spray some alcohol here, you know, rubbing alcohol. I'm going to spray it right kind of in the middle, and we'll see the reaction time. See, this immediately registers because it has that little computer fan sucking in there from this side out to the other side. And you'll see the, the chemicals have gone way up. I mean, the particulate matter is way up because it literally was droplets of alcohol. But here, I mean, I think the numbers went up. Yeah, for sure. But it doesn't actually give you an alarm. It doesn't beep. I did think it just went to orange, but now it's back to slight. Let me do another spray here. Let's see if it... Yeah, it went to moderate. Maybe it waits until it's serious before it beeps. But I would think that... <laughs> I mean, I'm spraying alcohol. There we go. So, okay, when it gets serious, it will beep. Uh, and I do think maybe that is sucking in through the back. Because... Hold on, let me air this out a little bit. Let the alcohol evaporate. You know what? Let me come back when this thing resets. Alright, just shook it around. Try to get the alcohol out of there. So I'm going to spray on this side of the box and let's see if the thing jumps immediately or not. That's not, it actually went to good. So now I'm going to spray on this side of the box. Yeah, nothing. But now if I spray into the back, it went worse. No, it's hard to say. No, it went worse. So I do think it's sucking in air. Yeah, I think it's sucking in air through the back. Which leads to my very first point. It probably doesn't make sense. Sorry. It doesn't make sense to mount this against a wall, because if the air can't get in here, it can't sense the chemicals or the PM. So keep that in mind. It's a poorly designed body, actually. Okay, with that said, I feel like if you're going to buy a PM 2.5 sensor, this is a better one, because it simply senses it faster because it has a big fan. I think this might have a fan, but I just don't think it's as big or, well, the access holes simply aren't as good, right? This fan, this entire grill here is open. Let me get that flashlight again. This fan, only this, only these bottom five holes, it looks like, are actually hollow. I think up here, where I'm shining now, is solid. It's just a, a gimmick. But down here, I can start seeing through it. Maybe you can see the white there, or the screen. So essentially, there's only that much air getting into the sensor, whereas on this one, there's that much air getting into the sensor, so, yeah. Well, now I know, uh, yeah, I would stick to something like that, something that has a big vent. But I'm not going to throw this out, I'm still going to just leave it next to my computer, just permanently plugged in, and then, uh, yeah, I'll know at least I'm going to die from CO2. <laughs> okay, so another random product review, guys. Um, hold on, let me just focus on this. If for some reason you want to pause and read that, there's not much to it, though. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next review. Stay healthy.
uh, try to not breathe in bad air. Bye.